Then we'll be <laughs> at the phone's default alarm. <laughs> so, makes. <laughs> so you'll read the first line when you can see it. Um, so, Captain Karen um, seemed to have not believed that the um, medicine didn't work. Um, I told her that it was working just fine, but she made me drink more. Um, 今回は, um, 足まで縛られたが, 俺は歯を食い絞って抵抗した. Um, so this time I was tied all the way down to my legs, but, um, my, I, I'm, I'm guessing that maybe she covered his mouth somehow, because the clench one's teeth I, in opposition. Like, oh, like he, his own teeth, right? oh. as to not drink the medicine. Makes sense. So even though I was tied up this time, I clenched my teeth in opposition. That makes sense. Um, それでも結果口をこじ開けられて飲まされた。However, the result again was my mouth was pried open and I was forced to drink. 唇からは。I think you might have that word confused. Uh, it's 結局。Oh, 結局。Uh, after all, rather than the result. Very similar. Word. Very similar. I think yeah. one of the kanji is the same in it. Probably the first one. Yeah, the cat, yeah. So, my lip was bleeding and I was sopping, my, the front of my sweater has become sopping wet again. And on top of that, this time, I was unable to kick um, the, sh the, the soldier. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so after that, um, Captain Karen and the guard with the stiff beard, um, they interrogated me, they were like taking turns, interrogating me, um, and they asked me the same questions for forever, for like hours. Um, the name of the bearded uh, man is a uh, fan. Mataku. Wow. Um, even though I'm not doing something like um, telling lies, they won't even, after all this time, believe me. どうでもいい。どうせ今日見つかったんだか、だから、俺本当に魔術師なんだよと二人にきっとすぐに粘りがやってきて連れて説明してくれる。そうしたら、どうせ今日取り回して安らぎ手に帰ろう。But it does oh it ends right there. Um so I tell the two that um I really am a magician. Um Nebri will certainly come and explain everything. And when that happens, um I'll take the magical stone back and return to Yasuno UK. Um Nimo Mata To Kayo that's the word. I hate that verb so much, that kanji. Um, and then I'll, yeah, I'll like go. Almost just for school. I know it is just for school. Uh, it means a commute back and forth. Uh, normally school, yeah. Uh, so I'll also be 
once again attending um, the Magical Academy. Um, Brambi mo o yorokobi shite kureru daro. Um, I'm sure that Brambi will be happy for me. Neko no reiri mo kito um, nodo narashite mukaete kuru. She also will come over and purr to me for sure. Um, and oh, come me meeting me and purring. Hi. I'll have to see who it is in a second. Oh, waka waka. Um, but I'll, I'll finish this first. Um, Roan to mata tomodachi ni naru shi. Benetto wa mafan o yaite kuriru shi. Um, so Rowan will once again become my friend and Benet will um, make some muffins for me. And konnichiwa! Konnichiwa ni. Hi, konnichiwa. I'm not sure you can hear me. Yeah, we can hear you just fine. Yep, we can hear you. Oh, great. Cool. So we'll be randomly giving you... Um, one sentence is me and Chris tend to do paragraphs because we've were, uh, been reading this book for a while. But we'll sign you um, sentences as we go on. Why don't you actually do this part that's in the quotation marks right here? <laughs> Should we give a little uh, summary? Oh, probably. Why don't, why don't you do that? Then I can do <laughs> short sure. sentences. Okay. Uh, do, do you know anything about this book? Uh, no, this is my first time joining the stream. Okay, yeah. I haven't uh, read this book either. I see. Uh, what's your name? What should I call you? My name is Tree. Tree? Okay. Yes. So, Tree. Um, so, this book is about a boy who was living on the streets. He's, like, about, like, 10 years old. And he got around, or he, like, like got by by stealing things, mainly pickpocketing. Um, but he's also very good at breaking locks. Those are, like, his two specialties. Uh, he tries to pickpocket um, a magician. Um, though I don't think he necessarily knew that, doing that, but maybe he did. Um, and uh, winds himself uh, getting into a bit trouble uh, doing that because he steals uh, magicians in this book uh, cast their magic by channeling it through like a, a magical stone. Um, so these magical stones are very precious and unique to, to an individual. Um, anyways, so some stuff happens and he ends up becoming an apprentice of magician, but um, in order to officially be recognized as his apprentice, he has to find a magical stone of his own to prove that he is a magician. Right? It's kind of like, it, it seems like every magician has like their own stone that's made for them but they have to find it. Um, he ends up not finding his stone in time, and he returns to the streets. Um, and so uh, this town has, like, a really poor part and a really rich part. And there's kind of, like, this, like, time of day theme going on. Um, so there was this party at the really rich part of town, and he was uh, kind of seeing what's going on, um, trying to, like, see if he could uh, steal, like, jewels off of somebody and sell it and, you know, get by. Um, but when he goes to this party, he sees that the person who, uh, who's in charge of, like, the rich part of town, who, who was at her, her palace, this party, um, the Duchess's she had his palace. magical stone. Yeah, yeah, the person who's in charge of the rich part of town, she's mm -hmm. called the Duchess. Um, and so, your magical stone, you can kind of, like, feel a connection to it. So he was able to feel like, he's like, ah, that's my stone, and she's wearing it on a necklace. So he tries to break into the house when everyone's asleep and steal it. But he gets caught by guards, and uh, now he's so being some, like, interrogated. <laughs> yep, and he's being interrogated, and that's what's going on. And they don't believe him, so they're giving him even more medicine. That's like the page we just read, but they're giving him even more medicine and trying because they think that he is like working for somebody. But he's like, I'm not working for anybody. I just want my stone. Yep. So basically, not I with see. the truth medicine. It's also basically making him say out loud almost everything he's thinking. So. Um, we have, he, he basically, he's going like, oh, I, I found my stone and all this stuff right here. He's thinking he's probably saying this out loud just because of how the medicine is affecting him, which is the, yeah, just the sense. context for this. So yeah. it left off. The last sentence um, was, Rowan's going to become my friend again and Bennett will make me some muffins. Yeah. And I think some names, I, I don't expect you to remember all these, but I think it's worth saying them. So Bennett or Bennett is um, the bodyguard of the magician, who the boy's the apprentice of. The boy's name is uh, Khan or Kulm. It's short for Conware, which is a type of bird. Um, the magician who he's the apprentice of is called Neberi. Um, and Rowan is a girl from... Uh, Neberi made the boy go to school. Uh, and Rowan is a friend from his school. 
And Rowan is also God. the daughter of the Duchess, which we just found yeah, out I, I two chapters ago. So you, you will know this as you stuff, um, but... do stuff. Uh, mo- most of these I are see. not needed per uh, sentence. So this one right here, yeah. uh, you don't totally need to know that. Other than that, Bennett is going to make him some muffins. So mm-hmm. can you read the, the sentence that is marked by the orange? I would love to, except that I'm having a minor technical issues where the screen just keep turning on and off. Oh, no. oh my god, I had that too. I had huh. that so too. I'm not sure if it's my connection or it, it probably something is. else. I find that some devices, it works better than others. Um, like when I was using the Discord uh, browser um, version, I had that issue. But then when I switched to the desktop client, um, like if you download oh. the program Discord and do it, then it works just fine. I, I also see. found that if I do it on my phone or my iPad, it's always consistently works well. But if I do it on my computer, on the browser client specifically, I get that flashing issue too. Okay, yes, I'm using the browser client. So if I may I kind of step out and then come back in? Yeah. yeah. In a little bit? Okay. Thank you. I'll be right back. Yeah. It was kind of tough explaining the whole thing. Yeah. I know. I was like, oof. I was like, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> it's like so much happens. Yeah. You did pretty good. Uh, wow, you, you connected yeah. super fast. That, that was so fast. Yeah. <laughs> you on the desktop client now? Yes, it stopped flashing on and off. It's great now. I can see well. God, that, so interesting. That took me forever to figure out. So. <laughs> yeah, I, I would have no idea. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. Then Great. We'll be so, having... so yeah, we mark basically where we start and end with these um, little colors, basically, because it helps us like keep track where we are and things like that. So you're just doing what's in the orange right here. Okay, so starting from the top is a, mo, ma, huin, makuishi. Uh, muffin. I'm sorry, no, makuin. Muffin, no hanasu, Close. or hanashi wa, hanashi, and then it's hataku-san hataku da. Uh, it's a particle wa. Oh, it's particle wa, sorry. So it's muffin no hanasu, hanashi wa taksan da. Hi. Something about talking a lot. Muffin. Yes. He's talking a uh, lot about already... muffins. So, yeah. you know it's what taksan the means? Him. These are, yep. Taksan. Plenty or yep. um, a lot of. So she's basically saying, I've heard plenty of your story. I've already heard so much about the muffins. She's kind of like saying, stop it. <laughs> stop talking about the muffins, Khan. And then the rest of this paragraph is going to go to Chris. えへんの半が切れんたいちょうにぶつぶつ。隊長、こいつらはこれ以上何も聞き出せませんよ。粘り混じっしよう呼んだらどうですかうん。そう。うん。I and here's that Nevity, who is Khan's official um, shisho, his teacher. And then we do have another sentence for you to do. Oh, it's, it's in the orange, correct? Yes, yeah. orange. Hi. Sorry, uh, so it's keru, kerushi, or Plus, ker, it's keru, keruin? Yep. Kerun, uh, and it's taicho. Wa unazuida. So the turin, uh, the head of the captain. Yep. Unazuida is he's bowed. The captain bowed his head yeah. in agreement. Yeah. It's a, yeah. yeah to nod. nod your head. Yeah, and this uh, this captain, uh, though it's not said in the line, is a is a woman. Yep. So a lot of times we will call her Karen, <laughs> Captain Karen. Mm-hmm. Or yes, Karen. That, that seems to make sense. 
It probably isn't Karen because they like to have like weird names like Keystone and stuff. So yeah, but yeah, like K- Karen's a normal name. <laughs> um, では fan kono ko no eri kara harigane o nuitte oke. In that case, fan this child's collar from it take out um his lock picks. Um, nen no tame mi hari wa. Uh, uh, just to make sure, keep a watch on him though. Um, wa So in that way, um, Karen she left the single cell and she very rig- very aggressively closed the door. And the next is going to be Chris. Sure. Probably. Yeah, I'm not getting a dictionary entry or dictionary entry for it. But anyway, so uh, at first the guard, uh, Im Fan, uh, didn't say anything, um, and he asked, um, "All right." I guess after I, after I told him where my um, my wires are, um, it it became that like he became more talkative. I suppose it's kind of hard to tell who the subject is. Yeah, is I think that's true. I think after I after he was top because. <laughs> <laughs> kind of funny because uh, normally like because they have wow right here so you think it's he's doing the teaching so i see why that's like confusing mm-hmm. but yeah. i think it's what's it's going on is that we have multiple subjects here because the ga allows us to have yeah. a separate subject for the next sentence mm-hmm. and then we're yeah, back to the, the subject of, the, of him again the clause during shots is con he's doing the associated yeah and so then, that that's what's confusing because we have fan as a subject as the first part of the sentence and then the subject as the second part of the sentence because first he says well mm-hmm. at first he didn't talk at all but then he became very talkative yeah <laughs> once he, i did this what, he became once, talkative yep yeah that's interesting um so um so when I asked him uh, how long I had been uh, locked in here, uh, he answered a day and a half and uh, returned. Hi. Or I guess, no, his, his response is what returned, right? Yes, he, he, answer, he responded to my question. <laughs> Hi. Um, so this right here, we're going to try doing this um, tree, tree. So you have uh, starting with orange and ending in red. Golden no. Eh. Yep. Niwa yappari aru. Tedo shinjo ga nai tonare nai rashi. You know what goten means? Um, some kind of honorific title is that's that right? a good guess but uh it's like an honorific title being given to a building so goten means palace but you are right that uh, kanji does appear as like the goal as an honorific um polite thing and ten i mm, looks like it can mean like oh, feudal this... lord and lots of other stuff so what do you think goten no oh, ehei no. means so it's the um, gar of the palace. Yep. Then we have niwa, which you probably don't know what this is, but it's basically we're like restricting the subject for that. 
So it's, it's really is aggressive. Like for these people specifically, this is true. It's kind of what it's for. So we're saying specifically for guards of the palace. Yeah, buddy. Blah, 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 blah. Um, so specifically for the palace guard, really there is a tado yeah. I'm a little confused about this yeah. part. I think Shincho is being used metaphorically, would be my guess. I think so too. Yeah. So the aru tado is all together. It means to some extent. Aru yeah, tado. See, aru noun like that, it, it means some noun, and tado means extent. Yeah. So to some extent, they are tado ga naito mari, or shincho ga naito mari. I. So I, I would guess Shincho, I would assume, is kind of, like, I think sometimes they use stra stra state, the height, uh, to mean, like, you're standing as a person, like, how snooty you are, maybe, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, that kind of, like, standing above people kind of meaning. I feel like I've seen that meanings before. So I'm saying, it's saying, as expected, someone working here isn't actually that I. It's like, I feel like that's what he's saying. They're not that irai as people. <laughs> so they're not well, that snooty. That they're, not, they're not erakunai, I think. Because you said that shincho would mean that they, they see themselves as higher. Mm -hmm. So he says, shincho ga nai to nare nai. Right, double negative. So shincho ga aru. Mm. Yeah. So they do not become, they do not seem to be a, yeah. like, sorry, I can't, I can't translate this sentence. I know. It's, it's hard. I think Chris should do that bottom half. This is that, yeah, think, that right there is hard. They, yeah. To, to some extent, uh, they are not humble, right? It is not the case that they are. It seems like humble. they're not, they have not become humble, not a knight. To become you, yeah, well, they, they're, like to, to they are not used yeah. to. I feel like it's saying they're not used to standing above others. Don't <laughs> mm. gotta see. So it seems like they do not get used yeah. to having standing over others for the guards of the palace. Because mm -hmm. the main character Khan um, has a lot of inter interactions with the Man of Twilight's minions. So I feel like this is like maybe a comparison to the minions of the Twilight who are really rude and mean and like beat him up <laughs> all the time. So maybe because right now the guard is like talking to him after he's after the boss yeah. has left the room. So I have a guess that this may be a typo. Maybe. Um, in in general, it's checking. normally not a typo. Like when you think it is and it's just I, I we're not Japanese. <laughs> I know. I think it'd be worth checking your physical book for this line. It could be possible that the correct line is Taicho. Taicho if the, if the Taicho to... isn't there, they're not used to that. Huh. That, you know, that would make so much sense if it was. That'd be so funny. But what about the, the Taito, the, the, extent, the extent of not having... To, oh. some, to some extent, if, they're, if their Taicho isn't there, then they're not used to that. Hi. Then, Chris, I'll be giving you the rest of that sentence while I look this up. I think we're in chapter 23. Sounds good. Uh, um, so, uh, failed attempt to, um, to assassinating the Duchess. Uh, the punishment for that is I need to look up uh, but I imagine it's hanging yep execution by um, so he tells me that um, when I tell him that I didn't plan to do anything like uh, murder her uh, or to uh, assassinate her so I'm not worried he tells me he should be worried um, so this is typed the same way in the book, though theoretically it could be a typo Damn. in the book itself. And my, I feel like they just copied the text and just stuck it in here. Same with like the furigana, how they have the semi furigana here that is like set yeah. based off of the book text. 
I really yeah. feel like it's saying oh. they're not used to standing above others because now they're like talking to Khan since the boss isn't out there. But yeah, that makes sense. You should check the English. <laughs> I the think English that's version. Like the final. You know that. To see. That would be smart of me to do that. And that Maybe not now, case, but later. I I could probably do it fast. You read the next part, this part, this sentence, and then Tree will do the second half of that okay. paragraph. Wow, I just so, found the line <laughs> for that. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. And it's, it's, it's so random, but it makes sense. It says... What is it? <laughs> um, so, um, he, all, he said that, yes, there was a height requirement for palace guards. <laughs> it's so oh. random. Um, so the thing is, like, when Wait, I asked how... Say, say it one more time. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do, like, the, the paragraph. Because it makes more sense in context. At first, the guard uh -huh. was close mouth, but after I told him how to find the wires sewn inside my shirt collar, he got more talkative. When I asked for how long I've been here, he told me a day and a half. He said that, yes, there was a height requirement for palace guards. He also said that the punishment for attempting to kill huh. the Duchess was death by hanging. But I explained I hadn't, in fact, tried to kill the Duchess. So I wasn't worried. He said I should be. So basically, it's just saying he's answering all the random questions the character, but it's just yeah. so random. It makes sense because yep, buddy means as expected. They're ex they're oh, they're the if you don't height. have your height to a certain extent, you can't become a guard. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> but it's like such a random <laughs> sentence that you're like, there's no oh way. Oh my goodness. <laughs> ah. See. Oh. So I see, that makes sense. That talk. That door is basically arcing. <laughs> yep. Okay. N now, now we ah, can go back. That's so wonderful. <laughs> that deserves a Tumblr post or something. I don't know. <laughs> um, okay. So uh, in that moment, uh, I had a feeling like my stomach and my back like connected to each other right? and uh, as if my body had become flat. Oh. And yeah. next is your turn, um, Tree. So, so you, so you ever, none, not, Close. none, come more, right? In this case, it's nan niti. Though so nan ka is very commonly what that, like ka, because that's the, that is a way that can be read, but then it's nan niti in this context. Nan niti mo kabe de. Nai shi. Nete mo inai. Hi. So, uh, in that case, some, some, mm -hmm. even someday, so, eating. So, I, I'm going to give you girl. some um, content. So, whenever we have a question word with some kind of um, counter, this is normally has the meaning of several rather than an actual question. So if there's no question at the end of the sentence, it's actually not a question. So in English, we have a very big separation. We make a new word. We say uh, how many versus some many, what many. We do, we do like different things. Mm -hmm. So if you see question word yeah. plus counter, say, it's several yeah. days. I you could say for some days. For some days. Yeah. For some amount of days. So in here, it's several days, basically. And you're right that soiba kind of means what you're saying. It's saying that which was said. So speaking of that, <laughs> which is basically the and, for several days I have tabete nai shi and nette mo nai. Um, in this case, you can just assume it's nette nai. You can ignore the mo for now. So for several days, speaking of that, for several days I have not eaten, I have not slept. Yes, exactly. And this mo is basically just saying, I've not slept and I haven't even, I'm sorry, I haven't eaten and I haven't even slept. So this mo adds a little bit of an even um, to it. So I haven't eaten and I, ha I have not eaten and I haven't even slept. Um, so 
So I'm going to read this. Kiga tuitara, mata, Benetta no mafa no hanashi o hajimeta. When I came around to it, once again, I started to have a, com a talk about Bennett's muffins. And the first part of this is going to go to tree. Ah, uh, mo, wakata. As already, I understand. <laughs> yep. And the rest of this paragraph is going to go to Chris. Sure. いいんだろう。タワーそう言って立ち上がると、ドアの方へ向かった。お前がその口を閉じてくれるなら、あ、なんだってしてやるよ。あ、so um, he says then um you should have brought um something to eat. Um and he says that and gets up and uh goes uh, towards the door. Um he says if you shut your mouth, I'll do anything for you. How did you translate this? Which one? The tabemono motte kureba in daro. You should have brought food. Is that what it's? I'm pretty sure it's saying you'll be you'll be you'll, you'll be fine if I go to bring you. You know what? You're right. Yeah, he should have said if it would have been, you should have. It would have been kureba yo katta. Um, yeah. You're right. I should bring you food. I should. Br I'll bring you food, and then you'll be fine, right? Is basically saying like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. If I bring you food, then it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. That's more, much more accurate. Hi. Uh, then, then when we were done, or did you have another sentence that distracted me? Sorry. Uh, are, uh did you finish all your lines? Because uh, that part just distracted yes, me. Yes, I did. Okay. Um, mafa no dete ki doa ga shime shimatta shunkan tsunaka ni mawa sarete ita ryote o. Um, oshiri no shita ni kugurase mai ni motte kita. So, um, se once um, Bran has left, um, and right the moment, so Bran leaves, and right in the moment that he closes the door, I basically, I have, so earlier his hands tied behind his back. So he takes his hands that are around his back, and he basically, that are locked in handcuffs, but he takes his hands and he, brings them forward by going by uh so this is his butt so he's moving them like a, like through a tunnel which is between his legs but, well kind of you know not not as, but you know you know what he's doing he's taking his arms and he's bringing them from his back to his front of his body by going underneath his body um and the next part is going to be tree for dead Tejo o Shikuri to Kansatsu Dekiru. So Tejo means um, handcuffs. Uh, with, with this handcuff, with this the handcuff, Shikuri to. I can really see? Yeah. So kansatsu is like the look at, in this case, like to do an investigation kind of looking. And jikuri means like to be kind of still looking at something. It's like a very careful type of looking. So with this, I'll be able, that's dekiru, I'll be able to observe um, the, the, lock, the handcuffs. I can look at the handcuffs and kind of investigate them a little bit. Yeah, you can get a better look at them because they were behind him and now they're in front of him. Yep. Um, Jo wa tanjun na hineru katachi no mono datta kara, um, harigane de akerare soda. Um, so the lock was a very simple, um, hineru shape, which. Uh, it's like a turn, I would assume, the, t the turn to switch on and off kind of shape. Yeah. So because of that, if I had some wires, it would open, I, I just would be able to open it. Um, Zubon no me ni kakurete oita betu no harigane o tesaguri de toridasu to kagi o akete te tejo 
Is that how to pronounce? Yep. Tejo o hazushi shibarare teita ashi mo hodoita. Um, so basically, he has some wires that have been sewed in, and hidden inside the seam of his pants. And he basically fumbles and takes the fumbles for them, like searches for them with his hands and takes them out. And then he uses that to、um, open up the lock. And the lock,、um, un- oh, and then the lock opens and the, the handcuffs open. And then he also releases, his, he, un- he unties what's been.、Um, Tied around his legs.、Um, and the next sentence is just going to be cookie, and then we'll have a little one for tree. She said, she said cookie. Oh, sorry, Chris. Cookie's not here. <laughs> Cookie's not here.、Okay. Cookie, why are you not? Yeah. He's got a patiagari, doni, chikaze, demi, no smashta. So I stand up from the chair and go towards the door and.、Uh, Listen closely. Hi. And then tree. Next one will be for you to try. Dare mo nai. Sorry. Dare mo i nai i rashi. So rashi is its own thing. Do you have any idea what rashi might mean? It seems like. Yep. So it seems like dare mo i nai. There's nothing there? Yes.、No. But、Sorry. dare specifically refers normally to a human being, so no one would be more accurate as a way to、um, describe it as,、uh, in English. So if it said nani mo i nai, that'd be more of the nothing is there versus no one is there. Since nani is more of the thing and dare is more of the people term.、Um, and then, Chris, you can do the next little sentence. The door was easier, even easier to open than the handcuffs,、um, and it、uh, soon opened with a click.、Okay. And next is going to be tree again. Right.、Uh, are,、um, are no. Yeah. Ma do seki. Oh, Tori mo doshi ni iu ko ko. So, well, that or this、um, magic ore, stone. So, ore does sound a lot like sore, but ore actually is a masculine way of saying I. So, ore no means mine. Or, yeah. So, my, ma do seki. So, my magic stone, Tori Modoshi. Tori, Tori so, Modoshi. You can mostly、ni、ignore、iu. this for now. This, this is like a grammar point. But it makes sense with just Tori Modoru. That's his plan. So, Tori Modoru. He's doing something with the rock. I'm not sure、yes. what. To take it back. So, Toru means to take and modoru means to go back. So, to take back is tori modosu.、Um, shini iko、um, is basically modosu has been conjugated into stem form, which is a complicated way. So, this is modoru became, became modori,、uh, modoshimas, which then became modoshi.、And、then we have ni iku. Ni iku means to go and do whatever the ni is in front. Like, so to go do taking back stone. And then the ko basically means let's do this. You do this when you're like making a plan. So, tori modo shite ni iko means let's go take back my magical stone.、Um, and then it I'm. Sounds, it's so like crazy how like. Complicated it is when you explain out every little piece. Yeah. You know, <laughs> it's, it's really a lot of moving parts. Yeah.、Um, yep. But it, it makes sense as you learn it because normally, you know, you first learn iko, like this, this part, and then you learn the shiniku, and then you're like, oh, you just combine them together. <laughs> so yeah, ni iko means let's do it, which is that. Mado、yeah. seki、um, no koi wa. これまでよりも大きくなっていた
So the voice, the sound of the magical stone, the voice specifically, but sound would probably, I would translate it. I guess you could say the voice. Um, it had, compared to now, it has, it was, it, oh wait. I know it's like, it's saying it's getting bigger, but I'm like, uh, what is the yori? Yeah. <laughs> I, I think the way I would say it is it's bigger than it ever has been. Bigger than bigger it than ever it has before. been. So what's... Yeah, bigger than it has been. Kore made. Oh, that, that makes sense. You know, up until now. <laughs> There's just so many with the made and then yori together. Makes I know. It hard. <laughs> Kore made yorimo is like such a... Mouth. Just beautiful collection of words. I yeah. Think. <laughs> uh, so then... The natte ita is becoming... Yes. It is now becoming louder than... Yeah, it's... Uh, yep. Oh! Okikunare. Perfect. Uh, ore ga chikaku ni iru koto o shite hayaku, um, hayaku koi to itte iru. So as I get closer, and it, um, I know this, as I get closer, wait, that, basically it's talking about the stone. So it, it, as it knows that I'm getting closer, um, it basically is saying, um, hurry up and come. And the last line on this page is going to go to tree. So the door opened a little bit. Yep. Um, outside. He knows. Uh, nozoku. I don't know that verb. So nozoku yeah. means to peek towards some out towards something. So it, it, if it had its kanji, it's a little bit easier to guess because the kanji has the miru kanji inside of it, which means to see. So nozoku is just a very specific kind of seeing. It's like a squinting your eyes, or in this case, to peeking through the door, the the gap in the door. So you, yeah. Also, when doing like translation like this, or just reading Japanese in general. It's really important to keep track of who the subject of the sentence is. Mm. Um, and so, like the way you worded it, you said the door opens, which would mean, which is looking at it from the perspective of the door being the subject. But which would have Han's a slight, subject. that would he have a slightly different verb, probably. It would. So, yeah, it'd be like, yeah. Which one? Well, the the, the door opening is the hardest verb <laughs> for which one's it's, the It's the worst. <laughs> There's three of them in like, three. yeah. So, in this case, it's actually say, Khan opened the door a yep. little bit and he peeked through that gap yes. or he peeked through. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. exactly. Yep. And then do you think we should stop here? Yeah. Sounds like a good spot. We're at the end of the page. So I'll stop our recording then.